How's everybody doing today? All right, welcome to Film Camp. Hi, welcome to Film Camp. But this is an intensive, immersive experience in filmmaking. It's not a picnic, we have to work really hard. Everybody's gonna get a chance to be the director. Everybody's gonna get a chance to operate the camera. The people who have done this before, they can tell you that it's a lot of hard work. I'm, I'm very intense. Ask them, I'm very intense. Is but he I, intense? He is very intense. Yes. But I want you to have fun because at the end it's, it's, it's going to be rewarding. Also, I'm not going to baby you. I'm not going to talk to you like your kids. You guys are people, you have perspectives, you have opinions, you have talents, you have skills. So I'm going to talk to you just like I would talk to someone on one of my sets. That's how it is. And we're going to make some movie magic. That's what we do here at RSCT. We are going to make two movies. We're going to have two teams. One team is going to write a movie that the other team is going to be in and that team is gonna write a movie that the other team is gonna be in. At the end, on Friday afternoon at two o'clock, when you look at your work, which you will do, we want you to be proud of it. And we certainly wanna be proud of it. So, and we want your parents to say, they did that in four days, what? They did that in four days? They did that? And they will say that, because they say it every time. They're like, how'd you all do that? And we did it because we worked hard. And these are your movies. Yeah. We're just here to we're, guide. We're just, yeah. How long is the movie? What's the movie about? How will we decide our roles? What roles will we be playing? Robert and I um, don't know that yet. So here's the thing. Let me explain the pre-production phase of the movie making. Okay, we are right now, today is pre-production. I'm struggling to understand why people can't be still anymore. Um, and kids in particular can't um, just be still and in the moment. It's difficult getting young people to sit still. And, and to be in film camp, it, it's like moment after moment after moment of being in the moment. Because you need to do that sometimes to figure out what you're doing, to figure out how you will get from A to Z. There's a lot of standing around and waiting for stuff. To do one scene takes a really long time. The 30 second scene can take an hour to film. In theater, you're in the moment. You're in the moment and if you're not in the moment, you're not doing your job and it's very hard and, and you have to be still. You have to, you have to compartmentalize that and be so present in a moment that is not, you know, um, subject to bazillion distractions, whether self-imposed or not. We, we live in such a rush, rush culture. I feel like what I'm seeing in the world is that it's harder for people to do that. That's the struggle of quiet on the set. The camera angles that you use, you have to, guys, 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 the chatter is not going to happen right now because we are going to have chance to chatter, lots of chance to chatter, but there's a lot of information that we are giving you right now that's important. This is one of the most important aspects of production, quiet on the set. It's self-explanatory. <laughs> You're gonna go to the kids' corner? What? You're gonna go to the kids' corner? The kids corner. It's hard for people to understand that quiet is it's peaceful, it's down, it's it's internal, it's presence. And I hope to find a way to teach that better. Going forward, that's a life skill I'd like to incorporate into film camps so that we can use it to make better films. I'm Karen, and this is Robert. Um, Robert and I have been doing this camp together. This is our sixth year. Over Six half years. a decade. Wow, yeah. that's perspective, thank you. Robert has a lot of experience in acting and film. And when you come in, um, if, if trouble agrees, before you actually start saying your lines, maybe you should be looking around. Robert has all of the knowledge in his brain about film and how to make movies. He's been in movies with movie stars, directed movies, written movies, been the cinematographer for movies. Robert does all the beautiful artistic stuff. He's been doing it since he was about this tall. Um, there's video to prove it, <laughs> which I've seen. <laughs> um, and now he's this tall and he's still doing it. I am an actor, I'm a singer, 
I'm a professional, I'm a stage manager, I'm a production manager. We've been on stages on the East Coast, West Coast, won awards between us uh, in acting, writing, directing, producing, filmmaking. He's going to teach you what he knows about the technical parts of making movies, about how to operate the camera, how to create the kind of lighting effects and scenic effects that you want to do in your movies. You're going to have to live with uh, her being cut off a little bit by the flowers because it has to match continuity-wise. I think you'll be okay. What I help to do in this process is help you to design your films, the props and the costumes that you need to make it look the way you want it. The journey with uh, with I'm Robert and Karen uh, has been uh, wonderful. Um, mostly it's a matter of uh, just getting out of the way and then my job is to um, get the uh, get the kids into the program, sign them up and talk to the parents about how wonderful Karen and Robert are <laughs> and that they can count on uh, a terrific program. I mean, uh, as an administrator, I mean, that's a, a wonderful thing to just to be able to have talent like that to rely on. Let me ask you a question. What was nerve-wracking about your, your introduction this morning with a boom mic hanging over your head and the camera right in your face. Was anybody a little unnerved by that? Yeah? What did that feel like? It's a little in your face, isn't it? You know, like you're, you're, it's a little intrusive. Especially for those of you who haven't acted on camera before. I know I'm a theater actor and I tend to be very large in my performance and sometimes when there's a camera right in my face and a mic right under my face I, I, I get a little uh, like I feel closed in a little bit you know because I like to dance around a lot so um, think about that was if it was a little uncomfortable that's gonna happen as you're acting over the next couple of days and how are you going to manage that how are you going to figure out how to be more comfortable with this and then Lexi has to follow me. She's got to be my, my camera. Lexi is right now doing another job that somebody will also always be doing, which is behind the scenes shooting. And we use this for two things. Sometimes when we're shooting behind the scenes, we get some really good, funny bloopers to add to our film at the end. And also, every summer we make a documentary about what we accomplish in film camp, and we use this footage that Lexi and Robert are now shooting to, uh, to create that documentary, which you will all see at the end of the summer. So that is a really cool thing. I see your little beautiful faces on camera. I'm recording you. Don't! Guys, I'm recording. I'm recording. I'm recording. What in the world are you guys doing here? Uh, Make a movie. Those of you who feel like you know what to expect of this week, tell me, what are some of the things you learned last year that you remember? You think you want to do boom mic, you don't want to do boom mic. <laughs> <laughs> that not your favorite job? I hate it, my arms kill me. Boom operator, can I get you to come over here? Over where? Right here. It's not even that heavy, you just, you just have to hold it. It's just that you have to hold it for... Yeah. Okay, guys, listen, let's help Boom Operator figure out how close she can get without being in the shot. She needs to get as close to these actors as possible good. to get good sound. Let's just go around the room and introduce ourselves. I'm going to just kind of start with Alana because Alana's veteran film camper, theater camper. She's been here how many years? I don't know, like, as long as me. I think of, what, five or six? I don't know. Yeah, film like camp, that. at least, but theater camp before that. Theater camp, like, since eight she was years. Six. Yeah. Right? I've known Lana since she was six years old. Wait, how old are you? Thirteen. Oh. Right? Come on. So, Alana, tell us um, a little bit about you and why you're back again. Uh, hi, I'm Alana. I, I don't know. I just love this place. I love coming here. The atmosphere is always warm, happy. It's always fun, and I love coming out of here with two great movies. It's, it's great. Awesome. What's your favorite genre of movie? Genre means type or, or uh, uh, category, really? Probably drama or comedy. Okay. They're always super fun to watch. I'm 13 years old, and I live full-time in Puerto Rico. Um, like, but I come here during the summer and the fall a lot. My favorite movie genre would have to be like sci-fi, comedy, action, like all those like mix of rom-com and sci-fi and action with a little bit of mystery. <laughs> I like 
like drama movies or like comedy. And I am nine years old and my favorite drama, genre of movie is drama. Um, and I came here because I love to sing. You love to sing? Maybe we'll do a musical, I don't know. I did theater last year and I really liked it, so I want to try something new. Okay. I'm nine. Nine. And what is your favorite type of movie? Um, like drama. My favorite genre of movie is probably comedy. Um, I'm 10 years old and I came here to have fun. Beautiful. Awesome. And you brought Cleo along with you? You had to, I know. <laughs> um, my favorite genre is fantasy, and I'm 11 years old, almost. Almost? Are you guys twins? Yeah. Oh, okay. And I'm nine years old. My favorite genre of movies is comedy, and I came here to have fun. Beautiful, thank you. Are you guys twins? Two sets of twins in the same room. Wow, so cool, thank you. I am 12 years old and uh, I've been here uh, two times. I've done uh, the theater camp and the film camp and uh, both of them I had a really fun time. There's so many nice people and I always make a lot of friends and so I'm just really excited to be back. I'm nine years old and I'm going into fourth grade and I like comedy and drama. I'm 12, and I don't have a um, favorite genre. Favorite? Like, what kind of movies do you watch? Like, if you, if if you, if a movie comes out like, and you really want to see it, what is it? Maybe like comedy, I guess. Comedies? Okay. Uh, my name's Sam. I'm going into seventh grade. I'm 12, and my favorite movie genres are um, comedy and action. My favorite genre is um, maybe. Comedies and mysteries. Okay. Oh, yeah. What was your favorite genre, Teddy? Oh, I'm a mystery. Mur murder mystery. Murder mysteries. Uh, going in the fourth grade, I'm eight years old, and I like all kind of movies. I'm 12. I like action movies. Um, I'm 10 years old, and uh, I like action and comedy movies. Uh, I have four favorite movies. My favorite movies are Pokemon Hoopa in the Clash of Ages, the, sp uh, the new Spider-Man movie. I am 10 years old and I'm going to fifth grade, and my favorite type of movie, I would say, is action. I am 12 and I'm going into seventh grade, and my favorite type of movies are work. And I'm 10 years old, and my favorite genre of movie is um, horror and drama romance. So, and I came here just because, I don't know, my parents signed me up. <laughs> Your friends signed you up? Yeah, and I forgot all about it. Oh, well, so here you are. You're like, what? I'm going where? Okay. I'm Tommy, I'm nine years old. My favorite genre of movies are comedy, and I came here because I want to be a YouTuber. Because you want what? I'm sorry. Because I want to be a YouTuber. That's oh, cool. All right. I am nine years old. My genre, um, uh, probably uh, horror, history, adventure, and some comedy. I'm going. In, I'm nine years old. I'm going into fourth grade. My favorite type of movie is action and comedy. Hey, I'm 11 years old, and my favorite genre is comedy. Comedy. I'm 11 years old. And I came here because it sounded fun. And my favorite genre of movie is probably comedy. I'm 12, I'm going into seventh grade. And my favorite movies are like anything that involves Taylor Swift or comedies. <laughs> A Taylor Swift super fan, are we? Um, my favorite genre of movie is like mostly just like sci fi or something to do with like evolution or something. Ooh, evolution. That's the first time I'm hearing that. Okay, sci-fi. How old are you, Dean? I am 13 years old. 13, great. And I'm nine years old. I'm going to fifth grade. Cool, and what type of movies do you like best? I don't know. Don't know? Any kind of movie. Like comedy or action, adventure? Comedy, okay. I'm 11 and I'm going into 6th grade and my favorite kind of movies are 
comedy in action. I'm nine years old. My favorite type of genre is probably mystery. Okay. Makes for good movies. I'm 12 years old and I came here because one, my mom signed me up for it, but two, I like wanted to come here because it sounds fun and I've been to theater camp before and that was really fun. Good. What's your favorite kind of movie? Uh, comedy in action. Um, so I'm 10 years old and I did theater last year and so same with her, I wanted to try something new. Uh, and yeah. What kind of movies do you like? Uh, I like comedy. Comedy. Um, hi, my name is Maggie. I'm 12 years old. Um, I've been going to theater camp for like a long time, like since I was like seven, I think. And my favorite genre of movie is um, drama, comedy, and fantasy. And uh, I came back because I really want to try it. My mom's idea. Like, <laughs> Good. Awesome. Okay. Um, we are going to take some time right now just to warm up together, to do a couple of different theater games just to get our heads in the space. We're not going to take too much time for that. And then we are going to get to work. Okay, are we all ready? Yeah. Almost. Almost? You ready? I went down to the river. I went down to the river. And I took a little walk. This is a clock, and you're gonna say, a what? And I'm gonna say, a clock, and you're gonna say, oh, a clock, and give it to Brady. A what? It's a clock. Oh, a clock. Is this, is this a clock? A what? A clock. A clock. I'll take it. <laughs> no, oh, a clock. Oh, oh, clock. <laughs> Don't make up your lines. This is a pen. A pen? A oh, a ball. A pen. Oh, a pen. Oh, a ball. This is a pen. <laughs> a what? A pen. Oh, a pen. In this hat. I have little pieces of paper, and on each little piece of paper, there is the name of some sort of appliance. Work with your team to do a pantomime of that appliance. And we'll see how that goes. Please. So what are the skills that you think you need to be able to effectively communicate? Um, like context clues, like what they were talking about before and now what they talk about. Right, context clues, body language, facial expressions. facial expressions. When we are talking to each other, it's not always just the words that you're hearing. In fact, that's only 7% of what you're getting when I'm talking to you. Most of what you're getting is from the way I'm saying the words and the things that I'm doing with my body to tell you the story. What is the point of that exercise? What do you think? What did that help you to do? Yeah, Sally. To like come up with ideas. To come up with ideas within a parameter, like I gave you some guidelines, because we're gonna be writing scripts. Uh, what do you think of um, film camp right now? Uh, it's very crazy. Um, there's a lot of um, arguing going on right now about which thing to do. <laughs> Their hearts are in the right place. Do you like your story? Yeah. Okay. What do you think of film camp? Is it fun? It's fun. Do you like our story? Yeah. Like we all came up with it together and it seems like everyone else was very confused with their like stuff so I think we did a really good job because we agreed with it like first thing. Mm -hmm. so it's no. like, so it was like, it went very fast and easy, and it wasn't like a whole thing where we were all yelling at each other and like, no, I want to do this instead. So it was more so like, we were just all agreed on things. So we're going to develop fun characters that have interesting situations that they're living in, and then they have to say something about that so that our movie is not a silent film. Hopefully we can get this on the first take, which is very unlikely. Okay. Pictures up. Okay, is everybody ready? Those are the girls' screen. All right, go to your marks. 
Wait, 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 wait. Where are you guys going to be exiting? Again, so we basically right? do it with the phone. Can you still see it? No, you're no. good. Yeah. Okay, I think that we should start. Quiet all around! Quiet on set! Quiet on the set! Quiet on okay. set! Okay. Roll camera. Camera. Ca is camera rolling? Camera. Roll camera. Roll camera. Roll camera. Yeah. Roll camera. Oh, okay. Roll camera. Rolling. 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 Camera rolling. Camera rolling. Rolling. Slay in. This take two. This is take three. 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 Four A take three. Mike, you're rattling. The mic's shaking. We all we can hear is rattling. Yeah. Director. Action. 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 How do you guys like your jobs? Right, guys, I like being director. Director. Well, I want to be director, but it's good. Thank you. Fun. Director is the best job. Why is it the I best like job? Food. Well, cause you get to boss people around. You get to boss people around, is that why you like it? Yes. Are you the slate person? Yeah. Do you like your job? Yeah. Do you like your job? Yes, I love being behind the scenes camera. I finally got to do my job. Why? I'm supposed to be asking the questions. That's the point. <laughs> <laughs> we have to shoot for How many? Two? Two? Yeah, I think. And we have two for yours, so. No, we only have one. No, we have one. They're both for me. We have six to do. We have six to do. Yeah. A scene six. Yeah, we have scene six now. Scene seven. No, we already did scene seven. Scene seven was Wild West. Maggie, what do you think of film camp? It's great. Um, I love costuming people, and it's really fun. Yeah. What about you? Okay. okay. What do you think of like, film cam? Is this your first time? Yeah. I've never yes. seen so like, Okay. Uh, what do you think of film cam? So, is this your is this your first time? Yes, it's my first time, and I love it Maybe because put, like, um, when we're making our like, um, film, I am on costume design, and I love uh, making costumes and like, sketching. Uh, I and I also get to work with my friend Maggie. So, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cut. Cut. Cutting. We're done. I mean, like, I'm done. Well, well, it's almost a wrap. We spend the whole week, you know, making people work together and collaborating and, and spending all of this energy talking about how it's a team effort and it's a unit. The, the kids work hard. Because the week is so chaotic. You know, the, it, 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 not chaotic in a, in a bad way. It's just, it's a lot of pushing. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of discipline. They, they like to be recognized. I don't believe in giving kids awards just to give kids awards. I, I felt a couple of years ago that we weren't leaving the kids with any real sense of what they had accomplished besides just looking at the movies that they made, which is a huge accomplishment. I mean, n not to set that aside. But I do believe in finding ways to encourage the strengths that they had. I wanted them to know that their uniqueness and their individual contributions, since we've been touting team, 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 team all week, that there was something special about each kid. And whether it was quirky or funny or, um, or just some real raw talent that needed to be acknowledged, I wanted to make sure that kids got a sense of, in, a little bit of a sense of that individual pride that, that they bring to it. To encourage them to take that talent or that quirk or that whatever it is, somewhere else and use it wisely. Robert and I got together and we always like to pick some stand out things, like the ser these are the serious awards. Karen does an amazingly clever job of, uh, of reaching the kids and giving them uh, recognition in ways that are very, very special uh, to each kid and yet uh, fits into the program. and. Is, is really shows how each, each kid is a part of the success of the program. And so when we give out awards at RCT Film Camp, it's because your child deserves it. Just a technical note, uh, what we're showing you today are rough cuts of these movies. Um, Robert has been up for, I don't know, 24 hours or so editing all of the footage that we shot. 
in three days, and you know, he's still standing, that's amazing. Why should kids come? Well, it's a great opportunity to explore their own skills, to develop their skills, to develop their imagination, get away from some of the standard programs that the kids are used to in schools. I'm not sure that uh, there's a lot of in-depth film development there. I think we're providing uh, a need in, in that regard to provide uh, provide something that the kids aren't getting in their classrooms. Steve is a visionary. For he and his wife both, the least, to dedicate 42 plus years to young people and art. Thank you all for participating as parents, uh, kids. Thanks for doing such an awesome job with the films. And I think we owe a huge debt of gratitude to Karen and Robert for really for putting it all together. That'll wrap up uh, this session of uh, Film Camp. Thank you.